Hello and welcome back to World of Warcraft. If you're like me, you saw that the Dragonflight expansion was coming out very, very soon, and I wanted to give it a try. So I downloaded World of Warcraft, got it all installed, got everything up and running, logged in, and it was into Exile's Reach. I said, okay, I can do this. And right away, I always wanted to feel comfortable. I wanted it, the user interface to make it look like it used to. So I go up to what I used to do. I remember this, and even though even though it's been years, I right-click on that guy, and I look for that unlock button, because I like having my my target not over there behind that, and I wanted it moved. So I look, and there's no unlock button. But I saw an edit mode. I tried to click it, and it was grayed out. I looked online, and I found out that you have to do the whole Exile's Reach or something, or Reach level 10. Uh, it was a lot, and I didn't know, and I still don't know. But I wanted to unlock that early. So I looked online, looked, searched, searched, and on the forums, I'll try to find it again, but I, I found a script. And I'll put it down in the uh, description below. And I said, okay, I can make the script, and I'll make a macro. Now, if you're a brand new player, that might seem like a lot, but we're going we're gonna to do it really nicely and easily. And I turned down the music so you guys can hear my voice more clearly. I hope it's coming through nicely. All right, so how do you make a macro? I said, okay, press escape. We're going to go to macros, and we're going to make a new one right here. And I can pick whichever icon. I just push the question mark, and, and it makes it look like that. And I named it UI. I used capital letters. Okay, and then I said, okay. You can. Pr I've already made mine, so. And it was right here. And I said, okay, now I want to edit it. So I'll go in there, and I go... I typed right in here, or you can copy and paste from the description this whole thing. And it's a forward-leaning slash, the word script, space, then a capital show, UI, panel, parentheses, edit, mode, manager, frame, and parentheses. And I press save, and it saved it. I said, okay. Well, let's see. I'm going to left-click and hold, and I'm going to drag it down here. I did that. And I'll close that out. And as I closed it out, I said, you know what? I really want these buttons back. I don't have any extra action bars. I don't even have I didn't even have these. I said, where where are they? I said, okay. I looked. I said, press escape. Options. No problem. I remember all this. Action bars. And I looked down here. This one wasn't clicked. And I said, okay, I clicked that and it popped up. And then if you look really closely down here, number three, see how it see how it goes off and on? I didn't want that one. I wanted action bar 4 and 5. That one popped up. And that one popped up. And I even made a sixth one. And it's a special one down here. See how it, I moved it there with the edit mode. That's the thing we're working on. I said, okay, cool. And I said, ah, I need under my controls. Was it controls? Yes, auto loot. Cool. I want that to automatically loot if I click on a uh, thing I just killed. I want all the loot. I don't want to have to click every time. So I cl put that on there. No problem. I can always turn it back off. Did that. I'm in good shape. I'm looking around. Okay, everything's great so far. <laughs> and we'll go out of that. We'll return to the game. And I said, wait a second. Oh, I don't like these art bars, but we're going to work on that. And the chat. Okay, we'll work on that. So I just... Move that over here to my new empty bars over here, just to put it out of the way, because I won't use this forever. So I click it. I go, I hope this works. And sure enough, it brings up all of this. And I hold down, and I can start moving things. And I say, well, can I move that out of the way? Yes. Can I drag and hold that and move it out of the way? Yes. So I said, okay, I want that right about there. I want that right about there. I move some of this other stuff around. I move this bar here. I moved, and anytime you don't like something where it's at, you can just move it around. And I took the snap off so it wouldn't snap onto things. And I said, okay, cool. And then I was like, well, what about those art bars? I don't want those. And I was clicking, and all of a sudden I clicked that, and it looked, and I said, wait a second, here it is. So if I click that bar, boom, and I want that thing off there too. Boom, and I said, perfect. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll make some more adjustments later, but this is the general idea. And I said, save, and it prompted me to put 
the name of it in there and I said okay now I've got mo different layouts I can choose from that's great okay looking good and I said alright what about uh, well it's looking cleaner I shrunk those down with that you can go in there and shrink down the size of them and I did that and I'll let you I'll let you dive into that there's a lot to it but the basics are here and then people were chatting and I couldn't see it on a white background so I said right click on that background and I said right over here sure enough and it made it dark so the white letters on the back background I like that good good and I'm almost set and I said what about keybinds is there an easy way to do the keybinds and sure enough they added a really good one so now I go I said escape options key binding and right up here I always want to make sure it's character specific I don't know that's an old habit of mine and I said quick key by mode sounds good to me right I click it and I said I read everything so if I hover over this thing right here and I want it to be number three let's say for some reason I want three to activate that well I press three it took the three away from there and I could say okay could I push cancel? I probably could, but I don't want to. I wanted Q there. No problem. And I'll put the three back there. So I just hover over the things and assign them right from there. I said, OK, close, return, and it was all set up. So just without those few little tweaks, um, I was in much better shape. I can flip the camera back around. I can zoom back out a little bit. And I've got my things that I, I like just the way I like them. I've got the chat. I've got my extra bars. You're going to get a lot of a lot of different things. I even um, I have a lot of uh, extra things that I don't use very rarely. I just put a made a little bar and put it right down here. And then once you hit level 10, you won't need this anymore. So I just grabbed it and dropped it. Done deal. Not bad. If this kind of video helps you out, uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe because I plan on making more of these uh, helpful. Uh, videos and guides and I have a series going on how to be a tank I was uh, I said you know what I want to play World of Warcraft and I want to actually be a tank from scratch and see how it is and so far I actually went and tanked a dungeon and it was fun we had a few problems but it was a uh, it, it was still enjoyable and we cleared it and it was a uh, so far this is a lot of fun I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy and have a great day and I just look around a little bit oh I can put my UI away. I like it without the UI. Pretty neat.